networking is, it's, I mean, it's sort of the essence of what I talk about in many ways. How do you stand out in a stagnant economy? What are the things that you do? Networking with a firm's attorneys could be as simple as striking up a conversation, not just at an event, where you're going to be expected to strike up conversations and let people know something about you, but knocking on someone's door. Most often, people will appreciate that kind of initiative. They will appreciate you learning something about them and then sharing something interesting about yourself. If you do that, networking will become a very natural experience. It will be much more of a conversation. It will be much more about listening. And you should gauge yourself. You should ask yourself, am I listening enough? When I leave this conversation, what will I have learned? And how can I then reflect on that conversation in the future? Well, support staff um, can be, first and foremost, your best ally. So you want to make sure that you make a good impression on your support staff. They have been there a lot longer than you have, and they know a lot more than you do. Um, so sure, they are there to help and support you, but um, they need to know that you're on their side, that you're not going to make unreasonable requests. During your orientation, you are going to be told what to expect from the support staff, what kind of support specifically. Sometimes they'll answer your phone at some firm. You know, it's very, it varies from firm to firm. So you're going to have to learn, uh, learn the ropes at the orientation and take your cues from there. But don't forget that support staff are there to help you, and they can make you look good. So make sure that you are friendly with them, supportive, and collaborative. Well, I'm not really sure require is exactly the right word. I think what you can expect is that the support staff will do their jobs. So your secretary, her job is to answer your phones, to cover for you while you're away. Um, her job is probably not to get you coffee or lunch. So, you know, be aware of what people's job descriptions are and then expect them to do their job, but don't really expect people to go above and beyond and serve you because that's not actually what they're there for. And they have a lot of work to do. Everyone's very busy these days. This is tricky because you do want to build relationships with your fellow summer associates, but I think during the summer you have to view this as a working relationship and be a little cautious about um, what you're conveying about your personal situation. You know, we believe very firmly in, at my firm that it is not a competitive environment. We want to hire everybody. That's the goal of the program. Um, but, you know, same token, you all should probably be very professional in your relationships with each other. You don't want to give out too much information about any problems you have. You know, it's just sort of one of those things where I think it's just more professional. Use your judgment. Um, to keep any kind of strange situations a little more private. In a law firm environment, whether we're talking about summer associates or junior associates or even the most senior partners, uh, I, I would advise you to be conscientious and a little bit cautious about how candid you are. Now, you always want to be straightforward and forthcoming about everything, but uh, sometimes a law firm environment can become competitive and a little bit tense. And I, I would say that you want to be a little bit cautious of creating a competitive or tense environment with your summer associate colleagues. Well, in general, I think you should probably avoid having relationships outside of the professional environment in the firm, particularly with anyone other than another summer. Arguably, it might be okay to have a summer relationship. I know people who met their partners as summers and they've gotten married and they're very happy. I would really encourage you to shy away from any other sort of relationship because I think it's just asking for trouble um, and just don't do it. Wait two months if there's someone you really want to ask out on a date, but you don't want to be, you don't want the hiring partners sitting around talking about whether your relationship with your secretary was consensual when they're extending you an offer. It depends on who at the firm you're having the relationship with. If it's an associate and you're a summer associate and you came to the firm, that's something we probably should have known in advance. Um, but it is very common nowadays that summer associates do um, develop relationships with each other during the summer. And the best ones really are ones that are, are very discreet. Um, you know, we try to make sure that summer associates meet lots of people. Sometimes there are smaller events, larger events. It shouldn't be something that we feel whenever you're coming to an event together that you're on a date. It should be pretty discreet, pretty low-key. 
if you feel like the relationship is really getting to a very serious um, step, you know, position, then you probably need to come to us and tell us because there are nepotism rules and we probably should, in fact, discuss what our nepotism policy is with you.